customizing, I started customizing at a young age. Which reminds me. It's Christmas, early in the 80s. Picture a giant Christmas tree. Huge glass bulbs of multicolors with little chips out of the paint on them so you can see the, the bare white light bleeding through. It gets really hot. Somewhere in this vicinity, some of this furniture was still there back then. Huge pile of Star Wars toys. Darth Vader case, R2-D2 model kit, Tauntaun, Twin Pod cloud car, I forget what all. My cousin's standing here, uh, my, my aunt is here, my mom's there, you can kind of see my arm back there. And probably from the height that it was taken at, it's my dad, and I really think he was trying to get a p picture of the pile of my loot, and my cousin just stepped into the shot. So, that may or may not be the same Christmas that uh, we got the snow speeders. I think it was the following Christmas that we got snow speeders. Sean got a spare set of stickers uh, for his snow speeder. He got two sets of stickers. And, you know, that's a bonus. That's cool. I would have left the spare set of stickers as like a backup in case something bad happened to mine, I would have replacements. It's not what my uncle did. Uh, he decided that he would put all the stickers on the ship Christmas morning. So you know that long grill sticker on the underside of the snow speeder? He put the duplicate of that up on top of the canopy. And I was aghast, you know. I, I'm 10 years old, maybe 11. I'm like, no, no, you, you've messed it up, you know. <laughs> He's like, no, no, it's, it's custom. You know, look, his could fly upside down. I'm like, could it land upside down? You know, I don't think you can get out of the canopy if the snow speeder lands upside down. Uh, so short amount of time later, though, I embraced the, the customizing culture uh, and became the guy that would hack apart two action figures and recombine their parts and slap a new coat of paint on it and make it into this character, you know. So, yeah, but I still remember that moment uh, that was so unheard of to me that you didn't follow the directions on your toy. Uh, so yeah, very early I was introduced to that concept. So a lot of mirrors in this house. I can see into infinity right there. So uh, my oldest son just pointed out that it's five years to the day since my dad passed away. And uh, he's actually buried in this city. And if you know where to look, you can see his handwriting. Matter of fact, I used that tool this morning to get a bottle of shampoo open.